Hello students, welcome to another video on Algebra for class 7. The topic of discussion today is addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. So let us begin. So when we have a question on addition of algebraic expression, you need to see that the expressions are of like term. We can only add the like terms and we cannot add the unlike terms together. So, if the question is add 3ab, comma, minus 5ab, there are two methods of adding. I'll show you both. One is the horizontal method, where we simply write all the terms with the plus sign and we solve it. So, if we are, you know, integers, plus and minus is minus. So, as the two are subtracted so the symbol is going to be minus 2ab square the greater number is 5 and the symbol in front of it is minus so our answer is having minus in the column method these are just the terms so you can write one below the other even though we are adding it the symbol is going to be minus and it is going to be minus 2ab square let us try the other question. 2x cube plus 3x cube minus 4x cube minus 5x cube. So we have put everything in a single line. We'll add the terms. We get 5x cube minus and minus. Symbol is minus but we will add the term and we'll get 9x cube. So the final answer is minus 4x cube. So you remember that whenever you have like terms, only then you can do the addition. Suppose the question was 2x cube plus 3y cube. So we could not add them because they had, they were having different terms. They are two different terms. So we cannot add them. Here it is x cube and here it is y cube. So we can just put a symbol of plus but we cannot actually add them. But if I am having 2x cube plus 4x cube and as the terms are like terms we can just add the coefficient numeral coefficient so 2 plus 4 is 6 and output final result will be 6x cube so now we have a question of subtraction so again subtraction can also be done only with the like and the unlike terms let us do it using both the methods that is horizontal and column method in the horizontal method as you can see the question, subtract x minus z plus 2y from 3x plus y minus 2z. From, because it is written from, we have to put this part first. So we write 3x plus y minus 2z. And as we are doing subtraction, you put a minus and put the first expression inside the bracket. Now, when you write the expression like this, it becomes easy for you to change the positive and negative. So, when I open the bracket, it is minus x plus z minus 2y. So, now we will group the like terms and then we are going to solve it. So, this becomes 2x minus y minus. Now, the same question I am going to show you in the column method. When we have the column method, again, as it is the from part, it has to be written on the top, on the first part. Then we put the like terms of the first term under the question, first term, and we put a negative sign. By putting a negative sign, you have to remember the positive becomes negative and negative becomes positive. And then you will add these terms based on the sign change. So if I do z minus 2z plus z it becomes minus z, y minus 2y becomes minus y and 3 minus x is equal to 2x. This is subtraction in the column method. Now here is the question of simplifying the following by combining the like terms. So obviously we have to combine the like terms. So you can see here we are having minus z square minus 13 z square then we have 5 z and minus 15 z 
and then we have 7 z cube so if I solve the like terms I'll get plus 12 z square minus and minus we will add but the symbol will be minus 20 z plus 7 z cube so we can always write it in order that is 7 z cube plus 12 z square minus 20 z let us try simplifying this question here the symbol between them is minus so when i solve it i'm going to use the horizontal method so 3y square plus 5y minus 4 and when i open the bracket the symbol changes to minus 8y plus y square plus 4 because there is a minus so group the like terms and then solve the question so we have 4y square minus 3y and then this cancels so our final answer is 4y square minus 3 in the next question we have find the sum of the following algebraic expression three terms are uh, three expressions are given so we will add them you can use whichever method you want i'm using the horizontal method a plus b minus c as it is sum directly you can just put a plus you don't have to worry about changing the symbols as it is the sum then you group the like terms so you can see 1 a and minus a cancels positive 1 and negative b positive b and negative b cancels and 1 positive 3 and minus 3 cancels so we are left with a plus b and plus 3 this is our final answer now moving to the next question where it is written subtract p minus 2q plus r from the sum of 10 p minus r and 5 p plus 2q so from the sum of so let us do the sum of the given numbers first i just put a positive sign and solve it there are only p is having one like term so it becomes 15 p minus r plus 2q all are unlike terms now i cannot solve it further so i have to subtract p minus 2q plus r from the sum of this so obviously this is the second part so i write it here and put a minus sign because it is subtraction and bracket to write the first term bracket is essential so that you can change the symbols now i'm going to open the bracket and the symbols will change it will become minus p minus minus plus 2q plus minus minus r children remember to change the symbols then you group the like terms and solve the answer so it becomes 14p minus 2r plus 4q now moving to the next question which says that what should be taken away from 3x square minus 4y square plus 5x plus 20 to obtain minus x square minus y square plus 6xy plus 20 so when you read the question you can understand that what should be taken away from this to get this obviously when we take away from a number it is definitely going to reduce so you know that this has to be written first and take away means subtract so i put a minus and i write the next term in the bracket now when i open the bracket be careful minus becomes minus minus plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus minus minus group the like terms so we have 4x square minus 3y square minus xy and 20 and plus 20 gets cancelled so this is our final answer so with this i'm sure that you are now able to understand how to solve the various expressions how to add them and how to subtract them please don't forget to like and share with your friends thank you for watching